Automation and integration. Still a lot of data centers and hybrid clouds rely on scripts uh, within the individual disciplines, whether that's storage, network, compute, security, compliance. Uh, many uh, administrators create their own library of scripts, then they get replaced by other administrators and they try to figure out what those scripts did. And even if you use Chef and Puppet and other things, uh, uh, other configuration management tools, you still have a lot of complexity to scripts in the data center. Uh, and now, if we assume that in 2018, a containers are catching on more and more, generally you would not need uh, this kind of configuration management anymore that we had before and those scripts anymore, right? Because you just destroy a container and you rebuild it. And that should be done by the container management software, Jens. And uh, th that's that's a good thing, right? But uh, the, the role of those traditional puppets and chefs and Ansible's and all of those guys will dramatically change. Yeah, so I think uh, we see a steady rise in container adoption and also like a maturity involvement what the vendors provide. For example, VMware with PKS, they have a unique opportunity yeah. to maybe rule the market if they do it right and then integrate it with their other automation-focused products like NSXT, network automation, and so on. So there might be, um, there will be definitely like a rise in these in the importance of these tools for sure. Um, again, we are still in the early stages of a new and emerging technology. So I would say traditional companies have not adopted it like big time, but it's definitely coming. Yeah, and what's hopefully also coming is the declarative approach to systems administration, where you go and define the desired end state, right? You, you say, here's what the software needs to run, here's the performance metrics, here's the compliance and security metrics, now go out, DM management system, and get it implemented, get it done. Meaning that if I run it on another Linux, if I run it on a totally different platform or in the cloud, I have just the same definition and the system parses that and orchestrates itself so that it optimally supports that, that application. We've been talking about this for years, but uh, 2018, I, I think, will be the breakthrough for that approach. Yeah, for sure. So we'll see it rising steadily. So I'm, I agree with you here, totally. Jens, uh, we're going to get knocked out by our clock here. It's another 10 seconds, so we close this topic. So